Hello, in this video, we are going to cover multiple rows. This will be a really quick, simple video. So we have this container here. There's always one container on your page. And then you can have multiple rows. And then inside there, you can have multiple divs, you know, where you have columns. So rows are great for organizing sections of data. So for example, if I go on to a website, I'm just trying to think of a website. So just go on to that. <laughs> not social media related. Mm, go into I don't know IG. It comes to mind. Okay, so if we go here, you know, this technically probably will be a nav bar, but like this could be a row. You know, these icons that could be a row, so they're organized. Then this could be another row in itself. And even though we, when we resize it, things will move around based on a grid like system, this could be another row. So it's just a great way of organizing data okay so what you do is just within the container just put another div apply a class of row and you do whatever you want in it if we refresh we don't get anything because this row has no height because it has no content when you style in apply to it to give it height so if now we add a div the dog is moaning downstairs and if I apply a class of call dash free and let's say I'll apply red, I'll put row to column one, I reload. This is what we get. So the row will start immediately after the previous row unless there is something like a break rule. Yep, I thought it was still red. Or if there's some sort of margin applied maybe to this row or to this row, you know, top or bottom to help spread it out. But that's it. In here, you can have as many columns as you want. They will adhere to the same grid system. But also, if you notice, this is 246. So this takes up a total of six column spaces. And there's 12 in any single line. Whereas this is free. So this isn't continuing off from here. This goes on to a whole nother, not just line, a whole nother row. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.